Hello everyone, welcome back to Kaushal Bhai Prep. In today's video lecture, we are going to discuss another topic that is the pearl culture. So let's start with the introduction. So pearl is a hard object which is produced within the soft tissue of a living shell mollusk. So mollusk pl uh, produce pearl and just like the shell of a mollusk, the pearl is made up of calcium carbonate uh, which has been deposited in the concentric layers. Uh, the ideal pearl is perfectly round and smooth, but many other shapes of the pearl uh, exist, right? So, the pearl is formed by a mollusk, uh, first thing. Second thing, it is made up of calcium carbonate and it, uh, it deposits in a concentric layers. And the finest quality in natural pearl have been highly valued as gemstones and the object of beauty for many centuries and because of this, the word the pearl has become a metaphor for something very rare fine admirable and valuable also so this is like something philosophical we don't need to get into that but we need to understand its culture so why do people culture the mollusk which produce pearl why because it is made up of calcium carbonate it is round smooth and it has a, a fine quality and it is a, you know a valuable gemstone that's why people culture it now the most valuable pearl occur simultaneously in the wild also but they are extremely rare right so you culture the particular mollusk who produce a particular kind of pearl so culture or farm pearls uh, from the pearl oyster uh, make up the majority of those that are currently sold so you understand that it it is a economical thing right and it is uh, also linked with the beauty uh, your beautification of something because they are uh, pretty when you see them and they are highly valued right so that's why it is an uh, economic perspective culture now pearls from the sea are valued more highly than the fresh water pearl this is important point and imitation or the fake pearls are also widely sold in inexpensive jewelry we all know that there are fake pearls in the market also but the quality of the uh, you know the rare pearl and the um, fake one is very very different right now the artificial pearl are easily distinguishable from the genuine pearl if you uh, know that and genuine pearls are actually expensive as compared to the uh, the fake ones and the pearl have been harvested and cultivated uh, primarily for the use of the jewelry but in the past they were also stitched onto the lavish clothing right right now that's not going uh, that's not happens uh, in <clears throat> Uh, you know uh, in in means of the importance we're only talking about the culture of the pearl for being uh, for it being sold so that is what we are uh, you know um, uh, interested in but along with that it also uh, has been known that pearls are uh, crushed and used in the cosmetics and medicine and in, in some plant uh, uh, paint formulation not plant paint formulations right now the pearls oyster uh, from which you can get the pearls so for culture you need to understand what kind of oyster produce pearls so there are six species of the pearl oyster uh, which uh, i am talking about the species which uh, occur in the indian coast so you have the gold uh, gold linus philippi reeve reeve uh, have two different uh, uh, species then we do have dunker so the genus is pink tada and the species will accordingly vary right now the distribution of the pearl oyster uh, of the genus pink tada are cosmopolitan that means they are uh, present everywhere so they occur in several seas of the tropical belt and in the subtropical region also and uh, uh, in indian uh, water six species of the pearl oysters uh, occur but only the uh, pink tada fucata has contributed to the pearl fisheries in the gulf of mannar and the gulf of kutch this is important for you you should know uh, where in your country this particular system is working now pearl culture in india uh, has uh, been known to mankind since the beginning of the civilization they are highly esteemed as gem and uh, for the, uh, their beauty and splendor and their structure are secreted by the mantle this is important mantle of the mollusk basically of the pearl oyster in response to the irritation caused by the external or internal stimuli such as sand grain mol uh, mollusk eggs something like that basically what happens if any kind of impurity enters the shell so the, it start covering it with the calcium carbonate and just like that pearl is formed right uh, now india has one of the highest demand for the pearls for setting in the jewelry and the pearl oyster fisheries are located in two main areas first is the gulf of manar uh, of the Tuticorin coast and the Gulf of Kutch on the northwest coast. So you just need to uh, remember the name, the Gulf of Manar and the Gulf of Kutch. <clears throat> now, 
टेक्निकल रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर पर्ल कल्चर द टेक्निकल रिक्वायरमेंट्स इंक्लूड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फार्म प्रिपरेशन वेयर यू विल रेयर दी ऑइस्टर्स दैन द कलेक्शन ऑफ दी ऑइस्टर्स एंड देन द सीडलिंग दैट मीन्स यू विल यू नो पुट योर ऑइस्टर्स इन द फार्म एंड देन केयरिंग ऑफ द ऑइस्टर एंड फाइनली हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ द पर्ल्स now the process of the pearl culture includes uh, several steps which are very very crucial and for obtaining high grade uh, pearl with good commercial values now the first step is the construction of the pearl farm uh, so selection of the farm site is very very important then there is construction of the farm and then well planned work schedule which is basic for any kind of culture selection of the palm site now the step determines the type of the pearl produced and the oyster survival because according to the oyster you will select the site uh what ever site is conducible to the uh, variety of the oyster that you are going to use for your pearl production some of the um, points that you need to uh, keep in mind while selecting the site is the natural features like mountains reefs are needed to protect the farm from the wind currents and the constant uh, regulation of the temperature and then a regular temperature should be there then the type of the seabed which means it can be rocky or sandy you need to understand that and the gentle currents are essential for survival of the oyster because you are mostly using the marine uh, species so you need to have that particular environment for their survival then there is construction of the pearl farm the, the whole farm system is based on the series of floating wooden rafts uh, 10 units of wooden rafts are used uh, in journally right this can vary according to the farm this is a journal perception and each raft consists of 2 to 5 pieces of the wooden making and the total length of this 20 feet and the raft is covered with wire mesh so there is a raft the number can vary and it has the mesh right and that mesh basically houses the oyster just like this you can see that this is the raft and these are the mesh and here you can see your oysters now step 2 is the collection of the oysters so after the construction of the farm you will uh, set your divers out uh, to the bottom of the sea to collect the oyster and they will pull out the uh, you know um, uh, oysters from the sea and then you can use those oysters uh, for your farm so oysters are generally located on the flat rock bottom so that divers will go there and they will recover the oysters and then finally you will be doing the seeding seeding means that 2 uh, to 3 uh, year old healthy oysters uh, are considered generally for the surgical implantation known as the seeding this is very delicate operation and it involves several categories uh, mainly the three categories ba- basically what is happening i told you that there is some kind of impurity basically the oyster consider that particular thing impurity around which it starts making the formation of the pearl so that you need to do in a healthy oyster you will surgically implant something right so that is called seeding now what is the uh, uh, basically the process of that the first is the preparation of the graft so a donor oyster is sacrificed to obtain the mantle so you you will you need a donor oyster for seeding also so you will sacrifice it mantle and mantle is needed for the host of the oyster to accept the nucleus so you need the nucleus from the mantle of one oyster which you will sacrifice and then the mantle is uh, uh, is being sacrificed from that particular oyster so the mantle is located on the outer section of the oyster and it produces the nacre which basically forms the pearl so you are using mantle of a donor oyster right so this particular thing is being grafted onto the other oyster so before a gra- graft is taken from the mantle the oyster is starved for several days to slow down the metabolism of the oyster and it is uh, step this step is sounds very cruel but people do it for the pearl so this helps to decrease the risk of the core rejection and open the oyster be- because if you uh, have uh, dealt with the oysters if you uh, or if you have eaten oysters you should know that it is very difficult to open the oyster right so for that they need to uh, you know starve it so uh, you can see properly that uh, they are using this particular tool to open the oyster this is a bivalve so they are uh, trying to open it right now uh, first you get the graft from the donor oyster now you are attaching the graft the, the oyster is opened with the, the special wedge or a piler a plier uh, not the piler sorry about that the plier and then a scalpel a slit is made in soft tissue so basically you open it like man lijiye is tarah se tha so you open it like this and then in the uh, uh, soft tissue you made a slit right near the reproductive organ and a graft of a living mantle is inserted into the so yahan pe you will uh, insert the graft so this is the recipient right the from the donor you have already gotten that particular part 
from a uh, nac ray which you called right now the next step is the ins uh, inserting the core so the nucleus is placed in the scalpel slit which you just made and the oyster is then returned back to the water right just ma make the insertion and then put it back into the water the inserted core irritates the oyster and i told you earlier that this irritation will cause the formation of the pearl so it will provo provoke the particular oyster to gradually coat the core with a thin layer of mother of the uh, pearl nacre so you have already inserted one thing uh, around it it will make layers and after some time the oysters are collected x-rayed to see whether the implants have been accepted and they have made the pearl and oyster which have rejected the implant will again be returned to the water and are once again operated with the same thing the oyster which have accepted the implant are transferred to the pearl farm right the person who is uh, seeding must be extremely careful not to harm the tiny pea crab which basically uh, lives unharmed uh, within the every healthy oyster so there is something uh, the, the there's a crab which has the uh, you know symbiotic relation uh, with the oyster so it is presumed that the crab assists the oyster for keeping it clean by sharing the debris uh, which the oyster suck in so this is important for the oyster now once you have successfully implanted the graft and the oyster has accepted the graft next step is the caring of the oyster the shells which have been collected uh, these are the shells which basically have been x-ray scanned and you know that they contain uh, the pearl so they have been collected and transferred to the pearl farm and they are placed in a basket and panel which are attached to a long line connected to the floating raft which just i shown you earlier that there are uh, these types of these are the cages but you have rafts like this right and uh, you will uh, basically keep the oyster there the rafts are dropped down into the ocean because why these rafts are needed because you will uh, need to collect them back also right you will uh, just put the oyster in the raft and then finally you need them back also so that's why you need the raft so raft are dropped down to the ocean with the oyster, uh, oyster surely inside the basket right and where they remain until they become operated for the further seedling now the oyster can produce more than one pearl in its lifetime and regular cleaning of the shell to remove the seaweed results in a better pearl formation so the cleaning is done by machine uh, which uses the water jets and brush uh, you know just brush off the uh, seaweed which is there now um, then oh, how they harvest so after 2 3 years the oysters are harvested that means it will take around 2 to 3 year to form a pearl so it is necessary to make a trial harvest to determine whether the pearl have a sufficient coating or not and if it is not sufficient then an additional 6 months uh, to year of culturing is necessary so you see that's why the pearls are very very expensive because it takes a lot of time to uh, just get uh, one particular pearl right the oysters are split open and the pearl bags are cut by the scalpel to remove the pearl and the collected pearl should be uh, thoroughly dried after the harvest to prevent any loss of the luster because they are very very uh, lustrous in nature right but dirt will do that uh, just like that you see they are opening and these are the pearls basically right now sorting of the pearls because one type of oyster can um, uh, you know uh, produce different kind of pearls so there are many different steps involving the sorting of the pearls firstly the pearls are sorted according to whether they can be used for culture uh, cultured pearl industry or not so there are uh, certain categories there are unmarked pearls there are pearl with one major blemish then pearls with more than one major blemish right so they uh, here you can see a, per, a person is sorting the pearls according to the size and other aspects then the prospect of the pearl fishery what is the prospect so pearl fishery in india is uh, you know having a great prospect as uh, to compare with the other pearl producing country which are uh, basically a lot of countries in the world are doing this so in india the artificial pearl production has uh, started uh, at the center marine fishery research institute uh, with the collaboration of a team uh, scheme from the tamil nadu state uh, this is not important this is a technical data how it all started but you i i think you have understand uh, how pearl uh, you know culture uh, basically occurs now uh, one thing more uh, enemies of the pearl oyster so when you are culturing the pearl you need to understand if, uh, are there any um, kind of uh, harm to the oyster that you need to have in mind so that you can protect the culture so natural enemies of pearl oysters are octopus a barnacle eel so in, in addition to low salinity of the water caused by the heavy rain and the retides are also dangerous to the pearl oyster that means natural enemies ke saath saath you also have uh, these condition the water condition 
uh, right and the red tides they are also dangerous to the pearl so sometimes growth of the seaweed and barnacles kill many oysters you cannot do anything about it right you cannot control octopus so loss can be there so this is all about the pearl culture i hope you understand uh, the phenomena the process not the phenomena so uh, if you still have any kind of questions you can comment it down if you understand something you can like the video share it with your friends and you can always subscribe to the channel to um, get more videos uh, and stay connected for upcoming lectures and i will be bringing more lectures uh, according to your syllabus thank you so much